Hi everyone, this is Mr. Hernandez with a new lesson that I know you're gonna love. This week, we'll be exploring under the sea. Now I ask you, how can we create an underwater world with shapes and lines that we already know? Well, that's what we'll be learning today. The materials that you need are paper, blank paper, pencil and eraser. Remember that we always start with pencil and eraser. A black marker, but if you don't have a black marker, you can use a black crayon or a black colored pencil to outline your pencil work. And some coloring tools. I'll be using crayons, okay? But if you don't have crayons, you can use markers or colored pencils. Remember that if at any time you feel a little behind, you can pause this video. You can catch up, do your artwork, and press play again to keep working on your artwork. Well, I hope you have all your materials. Let's start. So guys, I'm ready to start, okay? I have my pencil and eraser, my marker, my coloring tools, and my paper. Remember, start with pencil and eraser, okay? And then you outline with your marker or your color pencil or your crayons. Just because I'm doing the video right now, I wanna start with marker so you guys can see it better, okay? Now, as you can see on this paper, I have a few shapes that are blocking the space of certain animals that I'll be creating for you guys. I have like a capital D. I also have a semicircle with a circle next to it. I have an oval and a star, okay? Again, capital D, I have the semicircle with a circle, an oval, and a star. I would recommend that you block out your space with these shapes because it's gonna help you create the animals, okay? So I'm ready to start and you're gonna see how we're gonna be transforming this basic, basic shapes into beautiful animals, okay? So the first one that I'm gonna start with is this one, okay? gonna start creating this awesome animal and see how I am going around the initial shape that I had okay I'm going to add kind of like a triangle in the back, okay? And look, inside I can have some wavy lines. Okay. And also add another fin there and a big eye. And just like that, we created an angelfish. Over here, tension, gonna be creating another animal. Another sea creature that I know you know how to do. One, two, Three, beautiful. Now I'm gonna add some legs here. And a cute tail. This is the belly area. And some diagonal lines. All right, we're not done. Because this circle, we're gonna use it to create the head, okay? Okay, big smile, and then we can add an eye over here. Look, we have animal number two. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start working with this one. I'm gonna outline this oval, beautiful. Two lines, two lines, and we're gonna add circles. I know. This one looks like Mr. Hernandez. All 
right? Big smile. Just like that, you have a crab, but we're missing a few things. Let's work on the... This section here, we're gonna have here. And a little triangle, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and some legs. I'm gonna have three and three. Okay, look, number one, number two, number three. And then number one, Number two, number three. Beautiful. And then I have this star and then it will become, will turn into a, natural star. Then I'm gonna add eyes. Big smile. Your star can have a few dots. Just to give texture. Same with your turtle. You can add a few dots here. For texture. Then I want to have like some, maybe some sand. Over here. All right. And maybe some seaweed with a look, the wavy line going up, and then we come down, little line in the middle. Let's do it again. Wavy line going up, then we come down, and a little line in the middle. I'm gonna have another one here. Wavy line going up, and we come back down, little line in the middle, and maybe one here. We have space. Little line in the middle. Maybe we can have um, maybe a shell here. Look, we go like this. One, two, three, four. We add the bottom part and a few lines. All right, we're almost done. I'm gonna have curves up here. Look, curve, curve. Beautiful. It's gonna represent the ocean that ocean line, and then a few bubbles. Circle and a little curve. Circle and a little curve. A few bubbles around. All right. Maybe a few here. Then I have space here. Bubbles. Maybe one here. And guys, that's it. I have my outline and everything else. Once you do your pencil work, do not forget to outline it and then you color it, okay? I color mine with crayons, but remember that you can use color pencils or you can use markers, all right? What else can you add? You can add a mermaid if you want. You can add a sunken ship if you want maybe a submarine, maybe other animals like a seahorse or an octopus or a jellyfish, all right? Guys, don't forget, be creative, have fun, and that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I know I did. Now you should clean up your area, leave everything clean and the way you found it. Remember that on Canvas, on the assignment page, you're gonna find other examples that you can use to incorporate them with this lesson. Also, when you finish your artwork, take a picture and you have to upload it on the assignment page. Do not send it to my email. Don't send it to Jupiter Grades or my Canvas inbox. You need to upload your assignment on the assignment page. You have to click the red button that says submit assignment. I am so excited to see all your beautiful artwork and all your submissions. I miss you a lot, guys. And I know we're gonna see each other soon. Mwah. Love you all.